distribution of the differences between tests for coherence. So, so that we will test if this is normal or not normal distribution. And then we use that as a then later for the calculation of this area and use this to test the test. And down here, the, uh, we, we will then we then decide that we will just uh, this we will just use the p level of significance less than 0 0.1. So results, now I will show you all the results, which are, there are a lot of them, but because you have to know there is like different, a lot of these frequency bands, but I will try to go just for the main things. So we just um, took, I will show you just the results with statistical significance, and uh, always there will be presented that test differences between uh, all these three main conditions. So. So we, this is just the summary. Uh, in working memory tests, we got the coherence increases between in these frequency bands, and this was spatially located in front front of posterior way mainly, and also this that is shown here. The reorder tests show also compared to just memorized condition, greater coherence in alpha 2 and theta bands. And interestingly, mm -hmm. the, also the spatial space was anterior posterior brain axis, also for central executive function. So we didn't find this prefrontal in, uh, coherence increase. So this is the interpretation, just shortly, the different EEG frequencies appear to have different functional correlates. And they found greatest coherence increase in alpha and theta band. Theta coherence is mainly thought to be connected to working memory processes, storage, recursion, and scanning of this sequence when they recurse it in the mind. Alpha band does not have very certain, it, it is connected to working memory, but nobody knows exactly what sh should it mediate. And gamma band, which was also slightly increased, uh, is uh, thought to be connected to content and sensory processing of information. We found no uh, special realization of function in spite of verbal test, and this is the main finding that it should, this neural synchronization should mediate interaction of posterior association cortex where information is stored and frontal cortex where the relevant current information is held and then possibly updated. And this is the one of the new based on neurophysiological models, how these frequencies and brain installations actually, what role do they have in working memory, but this is goes beyond our time. So this is for the discussion, and if you have any questions, we will.